It's Baker that's on him in the half court. Here's Jaworski, averages more than 20 points per game, but Johnson says no. He's just wearing this Lafayette team out at the early going as Caleb McConnell enters the game after the media timeout at strokes two. Well, he has been really efficient as of late. Yeah. We talked about the waves they can send in with the big fellas, but the guards as well. Terrific tip by McKay. Look oh, at that pass. pass. Harper over to Young with the reverse. That was a beautiful bounce pass. Door cut for Jaworski. It's a Jarrett three. Cherry trying to get the first two points, and finally, keep an eye on that 11-minute mark, Cherry delivered. We're watching that game. It was great to watch. Steve Peichel talked about how he likes his defense, and I can see why. Their effort and their energy has been outstanding today. And okay, he's two for two to start the game coming off the bench. It's a Rutgers team that does well defending the three as well. Coach Peichel says he likes the looks they're getting from three that was dipped it to Johnson. It's been really good, and I think Miles Johnson right there doing a nice job of relocating and making himself available to Paul Mulcahy. And the first points this afternoon for Justin Jaworski. I mean, look at how wide open the middle is right now. It, it's like you're asking for that. You are asking to get put on a poster. The 2-3 zone has some serious gas for Lafayette right now. Bit of an offensive, I guess, experience of trying to figure out what you are. But defensively, they're still the same team. They're elite. Harper on the dome look there for Mathis. It was Yabo who went for it. O'Boyle with a good hustle for Lafayette. And here comes Stevens for O'Hanlon's team to a cutting Sherry. And it's tipped out again by Johnson to Baker. Baker on the lob for Miles Johnson. Give him 10 in the game. Miles Johnson saw that he could run the floor. They looked a little bit unsure of himself, unsure of when to attack today. And a really talented guy. Stevens with the left hand strong. And the putback successful for Sean Good. Now to score. He gets it done there in a foul. Especially if the scout's so successful against a guy like Geo Baker. And Montez Mathis is not having a night. It's a good swipe by Young there. Trying to beat his man and good and does successful hair by Baker with 10. Johnson has 12 in the game as well. Right on cue there, give him 14. Miles Johnson has been the best player on the floor. Cutting up your opponent, understanding their strengths, and trying to take those away. Oh, uh, Boyle I, for three. I will say, though, I swear I've heard that guy can play anywhere in the country <laughs> at least 100 times in my five years at Purdue. I'm working with Mulcahy. Johnson, Mathis, and Baker also out there, and it's a Johnson two-hand flush yet again. Compliments on McKay. But Rutgers is really in the passing lane still. It's a 24-point game. And everyone's really aggressive, extending their defense and pushing Lafayette out. And Carson Wentz win that big game again for the Eagles. Look at Johnson with the one hand ball back to the chest and the finish. Rutgers enjoys the 19-point win over Lafayette this afternoon.